Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to teach you how to design conveyor belt controller in codices. That is, uh, count the number of items moving on a conveyor belt. Corresponding ladder design will be will be done in codices. So let's see. Our task is to count the number of items moving on a conveyor belt. So here is the conveyor controller. That is, it has a motor and a conveyor belt is wrapped onto the motor. And uh, whenever motor runs, correspondingly the conveyor belt also runs according to the rotation of motor. So here are the some objects which are moving on the conveyor belt, and a sensor is fitted on top of the motor. It senses the items. After counting the number of items, all the items will be collected in in the collector. And there is a local control panel which has a start button. A stop button and counter reset button as shown here we need one counter in codices to design this particular task in codices a counter has the input variables cu and reset as well as the output variable q so all these three are the type bool bool type variables and the input variable pv and the output variable cv are of type world counter variable cv will be initialized with zero if reset is true if CU has a rising edge from false to true, CV will be raised by 1. Q will return to true when CV is greater than or equal to the upper limit of PV. So this will be seen while when, when we design a counter in codices. So let's go to the codices. So take file, new, new file have to, has to be taken. So program LD, click OK. So first of all, uh, we need to start the motor so for that we need a start button that is this contact acts as a start and a parallel contact should be taken that is for motor so stop button will be taken like this which can act as a stop button for the controller take the output to for as a coil limit as motor next we'll see how to design a counter so we, we need to take network after click here first we take we need to take contact name it sensor and whenever a sensor is activated it senses the items and counter will count the number of items so click here insert we need to go to function block counter is here so we need to have up counter for this click ok so name this as ctr1 so this will be reset name it as bit uh, preset value as mm, 5 also reset will be bool this will be bool CU also bool and Q is also bool type. PV should be world. CV also should be world. So name it C1. This if you name it as world. Yeah, okay. Click OK. So we have taken the preset value that is 5 and C1 will be the count value that is the output side of the counter. So whenever it starts counting, it should start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the final value should be 5. Take the output coil that is name it as reset. Okay, next for the next branch we need to design the reset. Okay. Name it as reset again. This should be bit. Name of this output should be the uh, whatever the reset output reset input for the counter, which is named as bit. So this name should be equal to this name, and this name that is reset output should be equal to the input switch of reset. So next we need we need to take one more rung. So here we need to consider this as we need to consider ctu cu that is cu input ct ctr 
CNR1 dot operator. We need to take dot operator CU. NTR1 dot CU. This will make whether input of the counter is working or not. That will be shown when it, uh, it runs. Get the confirmation of the output of the counter we need to make take one more run take this quant, uh, contact it is cntr cntr1 dot if you if you say it q take again coil give it as out to take one more network click Contact negative. So same thing. CNTR one dot click here. Take again coil. Give it as out three. Means and select CNTR. Name of this should be same. CNTR one. CNTR one dot Q. CNTR one dot Q for negated contact and contact and we have to take cu that is cntr1 dot cu that is for input input of a counter to access the input of a counter we need to take this rung to access the output of a counter we need to take this count this uh, rung uh, one more option for taking the output of this counter is using negated contact so once we run this design, we will confirm how the counter works and the count value for each of the uh, iteration. It will be shown here in these three runs. Okay. So now the design is over. So now we need to save this file. Is saved then project build check for the errors no errors and no warnings now I need to run this design so let's run this click simulation mode click on login it is logged into the ladder with the design now start Start sorry, values run. So now the motor is started. Just the conveyor motor, conveyor build a controller motor is started now. Whenever it senses, it senses the items, the count according to that count will be incremented. If the sensor senses one item, first item, let's see, as in uh, according to this design. PV value is 5 so that will be the assumption of 5 items so that will be the assumption of 5 items for the first item it is sensing now so first time I am clicking the sensor I am clicking on right values see you can see that C1 equal to 1 so that means first item count is over that is it is collected in the collector and next for the next iteration For the next iteration again sensor if you the second item will be sensed using the sensor so you can see c1 equal to 2 at the same time you can see the output that is input is means uh, input the cntr1 dot cu is activated that is input switch is activated correspondingly output is activated so that it means two times items are sensed and two items are coming coming out that is among five items two items are collected here now so up to fifth item the sensor senses all the five items and all the five items are collected in the collector so that we'll see so after five times you should click on the sensor switch should activate the sensor five times. 
so three again next iteration for the next iteration four and the last one is five so automatically if you after fifth item after fifth iteration the automatically the count c1 value will be reset to zero so this completes conveyor controller design in codices